Hey guys, this is Megan with Thousand Generation Farms. It's a little early on a Saturday, but um, you know, that's mom life. So I'm going to try to get a DIY done here in the next few hours. And I want to show you guys what I'm doing. I already have kind of half of it done, but I'll explain it as we go. Won't you come farming with us? So our DIY today is I have about like seven or eight of these chairs. They were just more of an oak color. And probably like over a year ago, I started redoing them. I have the table too, and I redid the table. The, t the table's done. Um, and we've actually been using these, but I just, I don't know if it was, I got pregnant. And so then I didn't want to use a lot of the, the clear coats and like the stripper and stuff because I, you know, I didn't, because there's just little, um, warnings on that stuff while you're pregnant. And so I just stopped. And so I've been using them. But you can tell they really need to be finished. So I have the legs painted. As you can tell down here, they're pretty dirty. So, um, of course, everything white looks good. And it looks farmhouse. But um, it gets dirty quick. So before anything, I'm going to wipe this stuff down. Probably wipe the backs down as well. Um... And then you can see the bottoms. I I still need to finish painting. A lot of times I did do that with a product because, you know, it might be sitting outside. And so if I paint it all the way down in the first shot or while the chair's sitting upright like this, then dirt gets into the paint and blah, blah. So I need to put them upside down. Um, so I will do that next. And then, you know, I'll look around and see if there's any other spots that need painted white. Um, there is some spots around here. So like this orange stuff is just leftover mildew from the stripper. So I'm going to just kind of like chip that away, wipe it off as best as I can. Um, and then you can see like there's some stain that got here. So I'm going to paint white over that. And then this is already stained to the color I want it. So then I'm just going to put a clear coat over it of um, epoxy. I think that's what it is. I'll show you when I do it anyways. And so I just need to do that for both of these chairs and then they should be actually be done. Um, I'm gonna do everything in here except when I do the epoxy, I'm gonna move them out to the porch just because that stuff really stinks. Um, One thing is Joseph is not home. So um, we'll see if I can get this done this morning. And then second thing is, it is like supposed to be super cold today and I'm not sure like how epoxy does with, um, you know, does drying when it's cold out because I know like all kinds of paint, like all paint, you're supposed to keep it within a certain degree um, when you store it. And so having those chairs on the porch and having them dry out there, we'll see if that actually works. If not, you know, I'll just have to, I mean, we won't use them until they're dry obviously and it should be a little nicer next week hopefully but um like i said i have like seven or eight other or chairs total that i need to finish and these two are like the closest to being done so as we go you know i'll make more videos of finishing the other ones but um yeah so what i'm doing first like i told you guys was i'm just gonna wipe the chairs down i am actually using like a rag I'm not gonna use this like soaked part. I'm just gonna kind of use like a more damper part. But um, the reason I'm not using a paper towel is because paper towel will leave like the paper residue. I've done that tons of times. It works, but then you gotta clean up the paper towel residue. So um, I'm just gonna use this this time. And then I'll probably let these sit, you know, just for like five minutes so that they can kind of dry off. I mean, I'll probably wipe them down with the dry part too, but um, yeah, so.
So I have these all wiped off and they might not look much different. You can tell there's still some markings down here, but um, I just wiped as much as I could off. I'm gonna just paint paint over them then and that should be fine. Um, the most ideal situation with this is I should have just finished them when I started because <laughs> then we wouldn't have that issue, but paint covers up markings and um, at least I wiped them down. So next thing is paint. So um, I'm going to start painting, but first I'm just gonna wipe off the very bottom of the stools with just a paper towel. Um, it's not wet or anything, I'm just getting like the dog hair off of it. And then I have a Walmart sack where I'm gonna put all my trash. It's funny because I actually got um I got these chairs off of like Facebook Marketplace or Face yeah Facebook Marketplace. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them. Like I got the table and the chairs all at once. It it had to have been less than a hundred dollars though, like maybe fifty dollars because I had already redone one table and so that was kind of my idea with this redo it and, and kind of make some money on it. But um, actually, we actually needed a table, so we just kept it. Kind of shaking it a little bit. Um, this stuff is called Meeting House White. And I actually just got it from Walmart and I've used it on a lot of our um, like walls and stuff, not in here, but upstairs and I really like it because it's kind of like an off-white. Um, I gotta go get a screwdriver to open the paint. So um, when I was doing our farmhouse cabinets, um, I did a video on that maybe like a month ago, a month or two. Um, I used this white and I think when I opened it, it was like, yeah, it's kind of brown looking. So I'm just gonna need to stir this. And I have my paint stick here. Just like the cupboards, um, as long as I get this stirred enough that I have the actual white, I'm just gonna be taking little, like little swabs of it for the the ends of the stool. So not a huge deal. Like it's not like I'm painting a wall. And I. Not like I'm painting a wall where I need the whole bucket to, I mean, yes, you want to stir it plenty, but you guys know what I mean. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a little dab here.
I got the second coat on these. Um, pretty happy with it. I am going to wait a little while, turn them over, and then um, do the bottoms of the backs um, where there was stain on the white. And then from there, I will kind of clean up the mildew or the excess stripper, and then I will put the clear coat on and we should be done. So getting close. So I did end up, I was able to paint like the spokes while it was on the ground, like the backside, and then I just turned it over and it was fine to sit on the floor. Um, you can put magazine <laughs> pages down or newspaper, newspaper down as well, and I should have, but um, it, it's fine. So got that done. You can see there's still some of that um, residue from the stripper. I'm just gonna try to maybe, you know, wipe it away. Um, even with the screwdriver, the screwdriver might, you know, just kind of peel it up a little bit and then we'll just clear coat it and this one will be done. This one I need to turn over and still um, finish the front side of the spokes, but not too bad for a DIY project, um, especially in the morning. I think it's been maybe an hour and, you know, I've had, I've had a few, <laughs> a few different times I've had to kind of go away from the project. So kind of happy getting two of them done at least. Okay, so I brought that on the porch, and I don't know for sure what this is going to do, but um, hopefully my camera will focus. I'm just going to use this to try and get some of the excess um, stripper off. And honestly, you can see that like under that, it's still the oak color. I'm not going to worry about it. I think like what I could have done is really taped off these spokes and if you're doing a job for someone I mean you can do it however you want but it's important to do it right right but um since I'm using this at home it doesn't really bug me and I think once I get the stain on there Or not the stain. Once I get the clear coat on there, I think it will work a little better. It'll it'll look fine. That's what I'm trying to say. If any of you guys have ever used stripper, it is no fun. And I remember like when we were, you know, in the in the time of our life when we were kind of trying to get pregnant, it was like It's like, oh, you know, don't use that <sighs> because <sighs> it can it can just be not good to <sighs> like I don't know. Obviously, if you ingest it, that's not good. <laughs> so, um, so it just would always make me paranoid and just not fun. So. This stripper I use, it's kind of orange, and I think that's because it's the citrus kind. Um, for a long time, I was using this other stuff that I just got from like my hometown lumber store, and it actually worked. I think it worked better than this citrus stuff, but I think the citrus stuff was supposed to be a little safer, so that's why I went with it. Um, but as you can see, you know, there's like orange residue. So I guess you just gotta kind of pick your battles with that and decide what you want. Um, we'll see if I'm scratching the wood when, when I'm done with this. And I'm really just like, I mean, I could get an air compressor, but I'm just scraping it and then blowing it off with my mouth. <laughs> this looks like there was quite a bit there left. But anyways, I'm almost done with this part, so that's good. And I do have like a paper towel here. It's going to just kind of go like this to loosen up any of it. When it came off and I blew it. But I think for the most part, we're good there. Um, this side I think was pretty good. So now I'm just gonna, um, it's already stained, but, and see, like I was saying, you can tell right here, there's still 
the oak color, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, hopefully, it'll contrast with the rest of the chair. I did not do the bottoms. I just did the tops and tried to do the sides as best I can. I could. Um, polyurethane, what I'm using. Oops. <laughs> polyurethane is what I'm using. Clear gloss. I just kind of shake this up. I'm going to open it with that screwdriver. And then I'm actually... You know, this is kind of like contradictory, contradicting what I was saying about using a paper towel to to wipe stuff off because they leave residue. But I don't have another paintbrush that I can just throw away because polyurethane is kind of like that. You just kind of want to use a cheap one and toss it. So I'm just going to try and get a really thick coat on my paper towel and use it, use this as my paintbrush. Just do the tops and sides and then we will be done. Um, this is fast drying polyurethane and it's Minwax brand, which I use that for a lot of stains and stuff. Um, but I'll probably let these out here for a couple of days just because the smell is not good. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So you can already see it looks a lot richer and that's kind of what we're going for. Um, sorry, I forgot to tell you, you should have a glove on if you're doing it like this because obviously you're going to get your hands all goopy um so i'm just going like this rubbing it basically like you're you're polishing it um but what the clear coat does is it keeps like say you have just a brand new piece of wood and you spill water on it well okay so that wood is going to absorb the water and that's not good because then it can rot. Um, so like if you have a piece of wood like, or you have a seat like this, it's already stained and it already has the clear coat on it. You're not gonna be able to stain it like because the clear coat protects anything from soaking into the wood. So that's why you would use a stripper. You'd strip the clear coat off and the stain and then it would get it to um, the original color of the wood. And this might look a little goofy. I thought maybe even though the, I thought maybe though, even though the in between here was still kind of lighter that it would be all right, but it looks a little different, but that's okay. For the time I have with baby and stuff, I think I'm just gonna say that it's all right. Sometimes you, well, you always got to pick your battles with this stuff, so, well, <laughs> it's not a battle. You just, you got to, you got to have enough time to do stuff like this, and sometimes you don't have enough time, and that's all right. You just do what you can. Do it to the standard you want. So, not horrible. It looks a lot better, and, you know, maybe once it dries, this will be a little different. Um, I could, I mean... I clear coated it now. I could have came back and put some more stain in there, but it would look a little blotchy. So I'm just going to let it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to do the other chair and then we'll be done for today. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Don't forget to share our videos with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos if you like what you see. Um, as always, we're so excited to have you. So excited to show you what we're doing on the farm. So thanks for joining us on Thousand Generation Farms and we'll see you next time.